All right, my son Joel, my niece's husband Dustin Jones, and I had so much fun on our last trip. We've come out again, fishing deep water, deep in Plaquemines Parish. We're just getting on site. We got kind of a light southeast wind, blowing about eight to 10. Got a good falling tide, and we got some really, really pretty water. It's the time of year for these fish to be in these bayous. So we're looking to run across a few. Yeah, you gotta be kidding. Got All right, one. we <laughs> just pulled up. Joel's already hooked up. <laughs> Look at this. Smaller, what are you throwing? Man. A Carolina rig? Carolina rig, baby. Keep her trout on Carolina rig. Joel, I'm going to put the camera on you. All right. Yeah. All right, I got Joel set up with the chest cam because he's throwing this Carolina rig, and a lot of times this time of year, he just whacks the fish with that Carolina rig. It outcatches anything else. He's got it tipped with a limbo slice matrix shad, and he really just nose hooks. Hooks it almost how you would a, a live cockaho minnow. I don't know, one could be a fluke. Maybe he's going to whack him. Let's see. Fish on. No way. Another yeah. fish on, dude. <laughs> That's five. Oh. He got off. Got off. Doggone it. Man. My hook's all messed up. So, yeah, just nose rigging this limbo slice matrix shad. See if I can get redemption. <laughs> There he is, fish you on. Be kidding. No fish on. <laughs> Every cast. Bro. Wow. It's the Carolina rig, I'm telling you. I've I've fished next to him fishing that thing, and he just kills him. Oh, it looks like it's a good it's one. It's a good fish right here, man. Unless he's foul hooked. <laughs> Nothing <an> oyster. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it is an oyster. All right. Next cast. Well, I told you, you well, like an orchard meat. Say, like that fish ain't fighting back. <laughs> it's rolling. I saw it's like a catfish. There he is. Fish on. Fish on. on, baby. Come on. He I like to see small. it. I'm not oh, complaining. <laughs> that's a keeper. That's a good keeper. Oh, that's shake that head. Come on. Come on in the boat there we go it's a nice fish man keeper trout on the carolina rig awesome well you're redeeming yourself from the last trip seriously the wind is picking up oh that's nice oh that's there he is there he is got him joel nice they also want the jig head with the limbo slice. Oh, what you got? You got a baby child. You did have one. I did have something. I thought I thought I kept feeling something on there. Look at this. I mean, that is a micro. <laughs> that is. We're gonna try and get to where Dustin can pass on this fish. There you go. Yeah, that back end's gonna swing around. I don't know why it wouldn't before. There he is. Joel is wearing him out. There that he is. That doesn't look like a big one. No. <laughs> but dude, he might keep. I think he, he might, might keep. keep. Right. He looks like a keeper to me. I think he might keep. Let's see. Yeah. Absolutely oh. a fish. <laughs> I'm watching you. That's definitely a keeper. Definitely. I ain't crossed you, did I? No, but you're probably not going to hold. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Auto zone. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Clinic and Carolina rig both start with C. <laughs> oh, he's going right on me. Joel's putting on a clinic. There he is, fish on. Yeah, that's a better fish. Hey Dustin, you and I should just take off Joel's fish so he can get a bait <laughs> back out there more no, quickly. I think he can take off his own. <laughs> there he is. There you go. I got Woo! Him. Hey, that's a good one. Joel's not the only one nice who can catch fish. him. Woo that's a nice fish right there. Put it's him in the box. It's a keeper. Put him in the box, baby. Yes. Yes. There he 
Uh oh, fish on again. <clears throat> Didn't get a good hook set, but he's a nice trout. He is a Look. keeper. I'm gonna come under you. Right. Oh, it's a nice Chester. Chester, Chester. Man, it was a terrible speckled trout winter, but the fish are everywhere this spring. I'm telling you, on our last trip, everywhere we went, we caught them. And now on our first stop today, every cast action. Just incredible. Yeah, I guess you should come up for a couple up front? casts. Look, listen, I'll tell you where they are. Right there. All right. Right in the middle. Yep. And they're right at the beginning. Like, you got to throw far, and they're right, they're hitting right away. Oh, there he is, oh, man, he's smooth. Oh, oh, he came off? Came off. He came his back. got it. He came back. His friend thought he man. was lucky. Like, man. This dude is feisty. He was trying to pull me in. Good trout. Good trout. All right. Nice, that's a good fish. On the Carolina rig. Booyah. All right, so I'm making a long cast with this Carolina rig. That's the great thing about this one ounce weight on here. You can really bomb it a long way. And I'm just letting it go to the bottom, picking that weight up and letting it settle back down again. Basically, when you're picking that weight up, that bait has slowly fallen behind the weight and you can really trigger a lot of strikes. Fish on? Yep. Nice. A nice trout, man. It's a good one. That's a good trout. Right in that little eddy on that point. Man, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. And give nice him a headache. Trout. Fish on. Yeah, it is one that he gave me. That's another keeper, Joe. Another trout. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. All right, so we just adjusted a little bit in this bayou. We've got another deep ledge out that way. And Dustin just caught a nice 17 inch trout. Probably exaggerating the inches, but it's all right. Yeah, it's more like 19. What man has it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry we caught that many. There he is. Oh. There he is. Good trout. Trout. Good trout. Nice fish. Not a giant, but a keeper. All right, so what's been really effective today has been this Carolina rigged soft plastic. And it's a lot different than fishing it on a jig head. And a lot of times it's a lot more effective. <laughs> Dustin missed one. <laughs> Sorry. So what I've got here, I've got a one ounce egg sinker just freely on the line. And then I tied on a swivel, just a little bit bigger swivel than what the size of this weight is. And then to that swivel, I've got a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And you want a really a long leader for this. This leader is probably about three and a half, four feet. You do want that bait, whenever this is falling down, you want the bait to go slowly behind the weight. And if the leader's too short, it'll fall too quickly. So that's definitely a good tip. And then tied to that, is a two aught kale hook to use a regular improved clinch knot two aught kale hook and then i just nose hooked a limbo slice matrix shad there's a couple of advantages to doing it like this number one you're going to get a whole lot more fish per bait because it's not going to fall down on a jig head and the other good advantage to doing it like this dustin's got another one baby the other good advantage of doing it like this is it gives this entire bait freedom of movement. So it's gonna really look natural in the water and that's something you really want. As far as the gear I use for this, it's actually, it's really, really important for this technique. I've got right here a 7.3 heavy power rod. And to be honest, a 7.6 heavy is a little bit, a little bit better. You've got such a long leader that you need a longer rod to be able to handle it and cast it well. So if you, anything from a 7.3 to a 7.6 heavy is gonna be what you want. And then right here, I got a 6.8 to one luge reel spooled on this. I've got 15 pound 
fluorocarbon and the fluorocarbon gives you a lot of sensitivity and it also helps with casting distance so i really like the the floor for that so this carolina rig is definitely something you want to have it takes a little bit of time to rig it up but it is very worth it it catches a whole lot of fish especially in this deep water this time of year and the great thing is these fish will be deep for another several weeks until this warm weather moves in. You're gonna be able to use this technique and catch a whole lot of fish on it. So definitely put this in your tackle box the next time you go out. All right, so we made a move. We caught a bunch of speckled trout as you saw. We decided to come back into the marsh and target more bass and reds. We can definitely bump it, bump it to some trout back up in here. I'm throwing a 3 8 ounce jig head with a green hornet matrix shad. And Marshman is throwing a, what you got? Limbo slice on a 3 8 ounce death grip jig head. All right, and Dustin is throwing a spinner bait, huh? Gold spinner. Number four H, H gold spinner, quarter ounce death grip jig head, shrimp creole matrix shad. And we're gonna try and catch some bass and reds to polish off this awesome spring day in Plaquemines Parish. And it's really blowing. And it's wind. Ah, shite. Dude, you need a drink. I know. Give me that. Give me that. I gotta get some hydration. Yeah, I thought you'd been drinking a lot. I guess not. Fish on. Fish on. Got him. Trout. Trout. Nice. I knew it was a hit. <laughs> Such a great year. I'm so happy it's spring. These things are everywhere. Everywhere. Ow. Feisty. <laughs> there he is. What is that? That's a trout that's gone bananas. Trout's gone bananas. 12 and enough. They typically don't hit it when you got the bait that looks like that. Every once in a while they like a little salad with the meal. Fish on, fish on! There he is. Fish on, baby! Trout! Maybe. Oh, that's a nice trout. That that's a really a nice, nice trout. trout. He's got an opinion. Woo, that's a good fish. It's going crazy. That's a good one. Oh, he was lassoed. Look at that. He was not getting away. No chance. <laughs> but man, that death grip. Oh my very god. Deep. You got smoked? Smoked. You're going to have to uh, reel that in. Well, which way are you going? I, I'm coming right here. I'll reel it in with a fish on it. Yeah, How about that? That's why I'm, that's why I'm camping right here. Woo! -hoo! Man. Dude's got an penny on and he's only 11 inches. Is he little? Yeah. He's kind of long. He's kind of long. That's true. Oh, no way, huh? Ah, shit, man. God damn it. What do you got going on? 10 minus or something? No, I get. He didn't. Oh, fish on. Yeah, I'm gonna reel it in for you. I think he it's either red or he's follow hooked. I think he's follow hooked. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh Ooh. 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 That's a nice, nice trout. trout. <laughs> we earned him. Dude, good thing you caught that rod. I know. I get this bag cramp right here and it just seizes up my hand does this and I, I can't I can't do anything with it. Dude, if you're by yourself that rod went overboard. Uh-oh. Nice one. I think. Yep. Nice fish. Good one. Nice trout. Oh, oh no. Darn it. <laughs> yep. Oh we got him. Dude. Nice trout. <laughs> oh. Good night. <laughs> Sorry. Did you get scared, Joel? <laughs> Dude, they're about to hook me. Guys, let's. He's a keeper. The key is you gotta. 
Folks, this is the key right here, all right? You see how much line he left out. You gotta leave three inches of line out when you go to flip in the fish. Dustin reels like a circus monkey. Uh, <laughs> It's real. <laughs> no, it's not. Right. <laughs> I gotta. Oh, there we go. Dude, no way. That's a good one. That's a good one. Holy crap! I got Dude, you might have it. I guess the bottom. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's why it was good. Oh yeah, we'll make sure to put that in the video. Oh, I can get it. You're good. I got smoke. What made it so hard for you to set the hook? Keeper Joel. Keeper Joel. Closing in on a limit. Oh, there he is. Oh, there on the is. crankbait. Trout. SB 57, baby. Oh, nice. Trout on a crankbait. Trout on a SB 57. Woohoo! Catch him. Oh, goodness. No way. Right away. Dude, right away. Right away. Be putting on a crankbait. Nice. That was a freaking smoke. Smoke job. He's got an opinion. Pretty trout. Pretty trout. Top water, baby. Top water. Top water. It's a good trout, I think. Here, go on that name. Oh man, he's not bad. That's not a bad fish at all. All right, on top water. I'll take that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Third blow up? Third blow up, finally hooked him. You wanna get a picture? Yeah. This is nothing like a top water fish. Fierce explosions too. I don't know. Dustin's gotta be glad he came. Look at this. That's a big one. Look how crazy that is going. Wow. You want the net? Yeah, I can net him. Yeah, I want to net him. All those folks. There you go. Yeah, I'll bring him away. All right. Good fish. Nice right. fish. That's awesome. It's a nice SB57 trout. Man, what a super fun trip. Catching fish a variety of ways. Carolina rig, death grip jig head with a matrix shad of various colors, SB57 crankbait, and even topwater baits. Just an incredible, incredible day. After a lean winter, it's so nice to have a really productive spring. The trout fish in the spring, man, it's just been epic. Absolutely fantastic. These fish have really rebounded. So good to see. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on. All right, coming down to Plaquemines Parish, fishing is half the fun. All right, well, maybe it's more than half the fun, but a significant percentage is also eating down here. You know I like to show you local eating establishments. So today I've come to one called Adam's Catfish House. I've never eaten here, but I've heard great things about it. I'm not a big fried food eater, but from what I hear, they got some really good grilled options here. That's probably the route I'm gonna go. But if you like fried catfish, you can't pass this place up.
this. Thank All right, you. let me know. All right.